Today, I will walk you through the air pressure experiment in lesson five of the weather and water science unit from the good and the beautiful. As you can see, this experiment doesn't require many supplies. All we need is a plastic bottle, a balloon, something sharp like a nail or push pin, and well, maybe a strong set of lungs. Now let's get started to see what these few items can teach us about air pressure. The first step is to place the balloon inside the bottle and then loop the mouth of the balloon over the mouth of the bottle. This will allow the balloon to hang freely inside. Turn to the air pressure experiment page in lesson five of your student journal. Before we move on though, let's observe the setup and ask ourselves a few questions. What might happen to the balloon and bottle if we try to add air? Under the My Predictions section in the box titled Experiment Number 1, write or draw a picture of what you think will happen when you try to inflate the balloon. Pause the video now. Now it's time to test your hypothesis. I'll try to inflate the balloon inside the bottle by blowing air into it. What happened? Did the balloon inflate? Hmm. No, it didn't. Why? Well, even though we can't see it, air is inside the empty bottle taking up space. When you try to inflate the balloon, you're trying to add extra air into the bottle, but there's no room for it. Pause the video and evaluate your results by writing or drawing a picture of what happened when we tried to inflate the balloon in the experiment number one box under the My Results section. All right, let's try this again, but in a different way. This time, let's make a small hole near the base of the bottle. If you are completing this experiment at home, be sure to get permission from an adult or have them assist you with this part. The hole doesn't need to be very big, about the diameter of a standard nail. Depending on the size of your sharp instrument, you may need to poke the bottle a few times in order to get a hole that is the correct size. All right, now we have the hole made. Pause the video again and record your predictions in the box titled experiment number two. Now let's try inflating the balloon again. Did it inflate this time? Yes! Have you figured out why? By putting a hole in the bottle, you've given the air inside a way to escape, freeing up room for the new air you're blowing into the balloon. Pause the video and record the results in the box titled experiment number two. Okay, we're going to do this one last time, but with an additional step. We're going to cover the hole we made in the bottle after the balloon is inflated. Pause the video and hypothesize what might happen. Be sure to write or draw your prediction in the experiment number three box located on the upper part of your journal page. Are you ready? This time, as soon as I'm finished inflating the balloon, I'll put my finger over the hole. Wow, the balloon stays inflated without being tied. When I put my finger over the hole, I stopped outside air from getting back into the bottle. With no air coming in to push the air in the balloon out, the balloon stays inflated. Pretty cool, huh? This would be a really fun trick to show your friends. But before you do, be sure to draw or write the results in that final box on your journal page. 